This is a Fifine KO25 wireless microphone. Its multi-use qualities make it a very useful option when we are dealing with situations such as we have on a regular basis. We use this mic primarily for the interviews and our weekly news, for live stream announcer mic, and our special news that will air in the near future. This GMS special is our review of this microphone. So if you are interested in learning more, then stick around. Also, if you are wondering, this is not a sponsored review, so this is in our own opinion of this mic. Okay, first off, let's talk about what comes inside the box. Inside the box, it comes with the wireless mic and receiver. It does not have any rechargeable or regular batteries, so make sure you have some to use with it. Now to its quality. This mic out of the box does not have sound that is also great, so expect to need to mess with the settings to make sure it has the quality audio you were primarily looking for. Our main issue with it was that the lows sound very loud and sharp. We messed with the settings on our Canon XA11 and on our soundboard and eventually got it to sound the way we wanted it to. Here is what we used on the soundboard and we used the low cut mode on the XA11 and turned down the input volume. However, you may need to do different things for different people that speak into it. Another thing we did to help with that issue is we brought a microphone windscreen for about three dollars which also helped a lot. Overall here's what the microphone sounds like out of the box. And here's what it sounds like with all of our modifications. This mic has some good features for the price but nothing amazing. This is a wireless mic so if you want to remove cable clutter it is a good option. It uses the UHF wireless band and it can go 80 feet before the sound begins to cut out, which is what is shown on the official product page. We also have been use able to use it through walls, but the signal does not travel as far as we want to. Here, as you can see, I'm walking pretty far away, and the sound does sound still a little well. But as I get farther and farther, the sound be the sound begins to cut out and um, lose its quality. I'm about halfway down the hallway, and it still looks like it's going pretty well. And I'm all the way down the hallway, and it looks like it's still going really well. Another thing the product page states is that it has multiple frequencies to use. However, it is not very straightforward to operate. If you remove the button of the mic, there is a little switch to change the frequency bands, but as you go to the receiver, we had to check the product page to figure out how to use it. The receiver needs to pair with an open mic after you turn it on, so it will search the frequencies. Since we only have one, we have no idea how, to, how well this will work when you are using more than one of these, so be careful if you are using more than one. With the battery life on these mics, we have no idea how long they will last as we use the Panasonic Interloop rechargeable batteries for them. And we put them on the charger when we are done. But the microphone uses two AA batteries and the receiver uses two AAA batteries. Unfortunately, no matter what, you always need to use batteries with the receiver, so even if you are using it on a soundboard you cannot plug it into power this is a cardioid mic and according to the product page you want to keep your mouth within four inches of it to pick up your voice now to its design and usability the microphone looks professional and isn't very heavy and even comes with a little rubber stand so you can set it on a table and still use it it is greater for just grabbing it to use whenever you need it. However, this receiver could be a lot better. It doesn't have a big box, which is good if you are using it on a camera, but it isn't a good idea to just leave it sticking out the side. It also doesn't have any mount to put on top of a regular camera. We had to do this on our XA11 to get it on there nicely and bought this cable to plug it into the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack. Even if you are using a soundboard with your mic, it could cover up controls or other ports. In most use cases, you would want to use an extender cable to use with 
it without an issue. However, the receiver isn't bulky or heavy, so you don't need to worry too much of it possibly damaging a connector. This MyExpress on the official FiFine website goes for $29.99, which is cheap for a wireless mic. We would say that this is a good price for people wanting a cheap mic to use it in a situation that a mic like this is needed. It has all of the features that you would expect from the price, but nothing too special that more expensive mics would have, like a built-in high-pass filter on the receiver. Overall, this mic is great for a cheap wireless handheld mic that can be used on a camera or on a soundboard. But out of the box, it does need some tuning and accessories to make it a much more useful device. As long as you have another $5, some extra time, and a basic understanding of how to use sound equipment, you can get it to be much more useful. At only $30, it can't get much better than this, but if you want more premium features, build quality and ease of use you're going to need to get something a little more expensive thanks for watching this GMS new special review of the FiFine KO25 wireless handheld microphone if you are interested in seeing more videos like this stay tuned as more are on the way have an outstanding week